Hi boys and girls, today I'm going to read to you The Paper Boy. This is a story that we sent home, Miss Franco and I, as a gift to you. It was written and illustrated by Dave Pilkey. And it won the Caldecott Honor Award, which is a really big deal because the illustrations were so beautiful. The Paper Boy, I'm reading Mia's book. So if you have your book, go get it. Read along with me. It says, Morning Star Gazette. That is the name of the newspaper that the paper boy works for. There are no words on this page. Just look very carefully at the illustrations. I'll zoom it in. I noticed that the moon is still out. Hmm. The mornings of the paper boy are still dark and they are always cold, even in the summer. And on these cold mornings, the paper boy's bed is still warm and it is always hard to get out, even for his dog. Hmm. But they do. I can tell just by looking outside the window what time of day it is. I would, if I wasn't reading the words, I would think probably nighttime because I see the moon. But if you get up really early in the morning and the sun isn't up yet, what do you see? And softly they step down the quiet hall, past the door where the paper boy's father and mother are sleeping, past the door where his sister is asleep. And down to the kitchen where they eat from their bowls. and out to the garage where they quickly fold their papers, snapping on green rubber bands and placing them in a large red bag. I'm not sure if you have ever read a newspaper or maybe your family has, but there are some pictures of newspapers right here. Before we had the internet, we had to read the newspaper to find out what was going on, what the news was. It's hard to ride a bike when you are loaded down with newspapers. But the paper boy has learned how to do this, and he is good at it. There they go. See the bag of papers? All rolled up. The paper boy knows his route by heart so he doesn't ever think about which house to pedal to. Instead, he is thinking about other things, big things, and small things, and sometimes he is thinking about nothing at all. Still see that moon. Hmm, the sky changed colors. It was blue. Ooh, if you look very closely, you can see the purple coming in. Hmm, I wonder why. His dog, too, knows this route by heart. He knows which trees are for sniffing. He knows which bird baths are for drinking. And which squirrels are for chasing. And which cats are for growling at. All the world is asleep except for the paper boy and his dog. And this time, this is the time when they are the happiest. It must be nice and calm. But little by little, the world around them wakes up. 
and the stars and the moon fade away and the skies become orange and pink. <gasps> I told you to keep an eye on the sky. You can tell by the houses too with the lights on who's waking up. And when the paper boy has delivered his last newspaper, he and his dog race home. And his empty red bag flaps behind him in the cold morning air. Soon they are back home. It is still dark inside, but the sounds of morning are all around. His father and mother are awake and talking softly in their bed. And his sister is downstairs watching Saturday morning cartoons. Wow, he had to get up on the weekend that early? I like to sleep in. He must be dedicated. And back inside his own room. The paper boy pulls down his shade and crawls into his bed, which is still warm. I wonder why he pulled down his shade. And while all of the world is waking up, the paper boy is going back to sleep and his dog is sleeping too. Their work is done. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, maybe they pull the blind down, the shade down to block out the sun. So you have to be up so early. So it says their work is done. Dot, dot, dot. And now is the time for dreaming. Give it a round of applause for the paper boy. Yay! I hope you enjoyed this book. And if you ever become a paper person, a paper boy, paper girl, paper person, and you have to get up super early to deliver the paper, let us know. I can't wait to hear about all your adventures on your paper route. See you later, alligators.